Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Imperium Reviews. It's a beautiful sunny day, I just wish we had something that we could review. Oh, wait a minute, I'm just getting a message from one of our biggest fans. Hi Wes, love the videos. Please enjoy this bottle of Risotto Frizzante and let me know what you think. Keep up the good work. Thanks Bob for this lovely bottle of Risotto Frizzante. We'll get to reviewing that just in a minute. A little bit of background here. Uh, the company that makes this particular bottle of Rosato Frizzante is Giordano, which is an Italian wine company that's been creating banging wines since 1900. It is 11%, light pink in color with violet hues. The taste is well balanced. Right, let's put that to the test. It's time to give it a quick sniff analysis, so... Yeah, it does smell quite fruity, quite sweet. Nice and refreshing. Let's see how it pours. Yeah, straight away we're off to a good start, it's very nice uh, blushed colour, a um, little bit of carbonation in the bottom there, it's a very silky liquid. Just give it a moment to oxidise. Oh, I think that's good enough. That's not bad. Uh, not bad at all. Again, those little fruity notes at the back of my taste buds now. Very refreshing. Not very, uh, not very harsh. So far, a very lovely bottle of Risotto Frizzante. But first, before we get to the final verdict, let's see how it chugs. Chug's good. Zato <laughs> Frizzante. <laughs> Risotto Frizzante. Risotto Frizzante. So, it's review time. Giordano Risotto Frizzante. We're going to be breaking this down into four categories. Uh, that's smell, taste, chug factor, and alcohol powers. Now, um, for smell, so it had a very, very light, very, very fresh, zesty smell, very fruity, um, so yeah, I guess for smell we're gonna have to give it a have to give it a solid eight. Uh, for taste, the taste of the wine it was it was just like the smell, very zesty, very 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 fresh, very bearable. So yeah, for taste, it's gonna have to be a seven, I believe, because it's nice, but it's not like it's not like as nice as like. Uh, like iron brew or something like that. Now for chug factor, chugged really easily. I drank the whole thing uh, really quick. Drank a few glasses actually. I don't know if you remember. So this wine, safe to chug. So for chug, we're gonna have to give it a like a like a nine, I think. And then for alcoholic powers, <coughs> it's been about uh, four minutes, maybe five, since I. Started drinking a lot of it. Um, this is about as far as I got in. Anyway, and I feel, yeah, I feel pretty, pretty buzzed, pretty buzzed, pretty good. I feel like I'm ready to go outside and listen to some music, jig a little, you know, have a little, have a little boogie do, have a little dance. So for alcoholic powers, I guess we're gonna 
probably going to give it a uh, seven. So there you have it. A very lovely wine, very flavoursome. And uh, I guess for the final score, we're going to, I think we're going to have to give it an eight. Eight out of ten. Very, very nice wine. Do recommend it. Do give it a go if you get the chance. It's very nice. And yeah, I'll see you next time on Imperium Reviews.